Hi, Professor Gassimi here. I wanted to speak you through what the requirements for the project are. So the project is pretty simple, actually. We're just trying to have you demonstrate your expertise in natural language processing as you develop it over the course of the semester. The project has four components, and each of those four components touch on the four main parts of an academic research paper. So in the first part of the project, you're going to choose a problem that you're interested in that's related to natural language processing. That problem could be, for example, I want to know how um, tweets are going to predict something about the upcoming election here in the US. Or I want to know how the properties of words within recipes predict what the ratings are on all recipes or some other food site. It really could be anything. I'm going to post a set of example projects to the course website for you to look through. But I just want you to know you should feel free to be creative or have a chat with your academic supervisor about a potential project you could use that's actually going to be something interesting for your research careers personally. So the first part of the project is about doing that definition, but then also critically, you want to find a data set that's going to support that research effort. So you could, for example, scrape pages from the web or um, you, could, you could get academic papers, uh, you could collect speech data, either yourself or look at a public repository of that kind of information. Anything that's going to be necessary for you to perform analysis of that to answer the research question that you set out to answer. The second part of the project is you actually taking one of the methods that you learn in this class and applying it to the data to try to help you answer the question. So it could be that you take some of the pre-processing techniques that we end up discussing you pipe some of your text or speech data through it, and then you do a classification task, for example. That's what part two of the assignment or of the project is. The third part of this project has to do with you comparing your results, so how well your method accomplishes the task you were interested in accomplishing. You want to compare that against a baseline in the literature or a code repository online or some other place because in the scientific community, everything is about how well you did relative to what others have done. And so you want to find somebody else who's taken an attempt at this or find a popular technique that's already out there and show that the approach that you took was different, novel, interesting, faster, better in some way. And you, you have to make an argument for why it's better, faster, or um, superior in some way. And in the last part of this, you're going to be just putting together all the materials, so the introduction, the methods, the results, and discussing what some future directions to this could be, cleaning up your code repository so that everything you did is reproducible, and handing in a final report. And that's the whole project pipeline. If you'd like to get some specific instructions about any of those components, there is a link on the course website uh, that discusses not only what I've mentioned now, but even provides for some of the writing deliverables specific points that you can use to write against.